What's up, guys? Jimbo203 back at you with another one. Uh, so, sad to report that uh, since the last video I made, two more people have been lost uh, to violence in Bridgeport. And um, it's just sad. I mean, I think it's been about three or four in the last two weeks, two and a half weeks. It's like really bad. Uh, these young people, most of them are just hurting each other, man. I, I don't know what's going on with this generation. It's just sad. I pray for them. Uh, but I'm going to read these uh, last two that happened so you guys can understand. And I pray that my city gets better. And, you know, uh, the violence calms down. It's been like this for a very long time. On June 10th, 2022, at approximately 1.25 a.m., Bridgeport police responded to the 100 block of Priscilla Circle on several reports of a party shot. Upon arrival, patrol officers located a 37-year-old Bridgeport man lying down in the street suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. AMR Ambulance arrived and quickly transported the victim to an area hospital. Patrol officers secured the crime scene and notified the Detective Bureau. The Detective Bureau Homicide Squad has taken charge of the investigation with detectives from the Identification Unit. They have since processed the crime scene, collected several items of evidence, and are working uh, several strong leads. This appears to be an isolated incident where the victim knew his attacker. The Bridgeport Police Department has notified the next of kin. We offer our sincerest condolences to the victim's family and friends. It says, uh, police reported that they received a call on Priscilla Circle, saw a male party being pushed out of a vehicle and they located a victim in the middle of the road, recovered a firearm and multiple shell casings. Uh, they'll probably solve this. Um, so condolences um, to the family and friends, uh, rest in peace to this young person who lost their life. Um, it's just sad to see that this is still going on at such a rapid rate and it's just getting worse. Um, back in the 80s when I was growing up, it was like this, but it went a little worse, but it, it's just getting really bad again. Um, so there was one more I gotta get to. Uh, let me get to it. Okay, and this one is on June 13th, 2022, at approximately 8.30 p.m., Bridgeport police responded to the P.T. Barnum housing complex on a shot spotter activation and citizens reporting numerous shots fired with a person shot near buildings 10 and 11. Patrol officers and ambulance responded to the scene to find a 22-year-old shouting man lying down on the ground next to building 11 suffering from numerous gunshot wounds. 22 years old, so sad, man, just terrible. Bridgeport Patrol officers secured the crime scene and notified the Detective Bureau. The Detective Bureau Homicide Squad has taken charge of the investigation. Uh, they're collecting evidence with, within the housing complex. They are working several leads and the scene remains active. The Bridgeport PD has notified the next of kin, offered serious condolences to family and friends of the victim. Uh, just sad, man. And that 22-year-old victim, Bridgeport police identified a Monday night's homicide victim at P.T. Marnham Housing Complex as 22-year-old Kyle Deer from Shelton. Rest in peace, young man, Mr. Deer. Condolences to the family and friends. And stop the violence.
put the guns down. God bless condolences uh, to the families of all these people that are lost this year and you know all, over the years to this uh, senseless violence um, just hope our city gets better man um, like comment subscribe Jimbo TV straight out of Bridgeport uh, peace